Hey everyone, Logan here with the Motion Design Advocate team and today I'm going to be showing you how to add effects to your videos in Fable. So if we take a look at my project here, I've already gone and imported some footage. We've got the butterfly on the flowers and then we've got some people walking around in the park. So to apply effects to any of our layers, first we need to select the layer that we want to apply them to. Then we come down here to this transitions and effects button in the bottom right corner. Clicking this will expand the effects window where we can then see all the different groups of filters and effects that we can apply. Starting with transitions at the top, we've got layer motion and text motion. This is gonna be great for individual objects like text that you'll have in your project that you wanna animate in and out, but it's not exactly what we're looking for with this. And below that, we've got the effects section, starting off with AI lenses. So this is how you can access Prism. And then we've got a whole lot of different cool stuff down here like color, blur, filter, stylize, a lot of really good stuff. So be sure to poke around and see what you can find. So we're gonna start this off by applying a tritone effect in the color section to our footage. And that is going to add an effect down here in the bottom of our properties panel. Here, if I hover over the name, I can see that a little tooltip appears telling me a description of what this is and then also providing a link for me to learn more. It's gonna take me to Fable Learn where I can learn a bit more about this effect. Next to that, we can actually collapse or expand this effect, which is great when you have a lot of effects in here at one time. It makes it easier to focus on what you want to change and not have to worry about stuff that you don't want to change. The eyeball icon next to that will hide the effect, and that's to quickly show that these are non-destructive effects that we're applying to our footage. It's not actually changing the footage, it's just applying it over top. And then lastly, we have the three-dot menu back over here to allow us to copy and paste, duplicate, or delete any of these effects from different layers. Now, if we come down here, we see all the different values where I can update the highlights. We're gonna change this to something like a light blue. We'll keep the midtones pink and bring the shadows down so we get some nice contrast in the footage. Now you'll see I've changed these colors, but to the far right of this value, we have the ability to add a keyframe. And if I keyframe something like the midtones, then go forward a little bit in my timeline, change the midtones to something like uh, a kind of purplish blue. Then we can play this back and see that the midtones will now update from pink to purple over the course of a few seconds. So I'm actually gonna delete these keyframes and you'll see that it didn't erase anything. It just kind of took away the midtone keyframes, but it kept all of the adjustments and properties that we had set just before that. Now, that's how you add one effect to one layer, but you're probably gonna be adding several effects at one time. So we're gonna open the menu back up. And I know I wanna add something like a halftone to give this a pixelated look. So I can just type in half and it will provide the halftone for me to easily click and apply. And now you'll see that we have the halftone effect expanded and applied below the tritone effect that we just added. We're gonna go ahead and collapse the tritone. And here we can see that any new effect that you have added to a layer is going to be added to the bottom of the effects list, which makes sense. It's going to add it below the one previous. But what you need to know about Fable is that the effects at the bottom of the list will affect any effect. It will affect any effect that you have above it. So think of it just bottom up. So right now the halftone is being applied over top of the tritone. And if I were to change the positioning of these, you'll see that it's changing. So now the tritone is being applied to the halftone. And that's why we're getting these like pink outlines on the dots. That's not the effect that we want. So we're going to remove that or actually just switch the positioning. And then I'm gonna bring the size of the halftone, halftone down so that we can see what we're working with here. I'm gonna turn the luminance down a little bit too. What it's basically doing there is the brighter the object or part of the footage is, it's gonna affect the size of the dot, which is great. But for this example, it's making it a little bit hard to see. So I'm gonna turn that down. Now, something we can do on top of this is say it was a little bit too dark still, we can come in here and add something like a brightness and contrast on top of this. And that allows us to kind of boost things even further. So coming back to the idea of how these stack, if we were to move these around, you'll see that we can get some pretty different treatments here, depending on how the stack is oriented like this. If we put brightness all the way up at the top, you see that the color has actually changed here. So experiment with that and you can find some pretty cool, uh, unique lockups and different um, orders that you can have. So I'm gonna bring that back here so that we have the tritone applied first, then the halftone on top and the brightness on top of that. 
Now we've got all these effects applied to this single layer, but if we go forward a little bit and we go to the other footage, it's gonna be a pretty drastic change if it goes from this kind of alien bug world to the park. So what we would wanna do is take all the filters that we've applied here and apply it to the other footage. Now, one way we can do this is to come over here and hold shift on our mouse and click each of these effects. Then we can right click and copy these, come down, go forward in the timeline, click on the other layer and using command V paste these effects on top. Now this does work in a pinch and it did technically apply all these effects, but say I wanted to come back and change the color of the tritone here. As you know, I'm changing the tritone color to something like a, a red or something. Now, when I go over here, it's they're not gonna be the same. So if I want them to be different, then this is a great way to just quickly get those effects on there. But if I want them to be the same effects, then what I would need to do is find a way to apply this effect to both of these simultaneously. And the easiest way to do that is to come down here in the layer list, select both of our layers, hit Command G to group these, and then we're gonna quickly rename this to footage because we always name our layers. And now what we can do is we can command V the copied effects that we had from before onto the group. And this is going to apply it to both things of footage. And just to make it so it's not fighting anything, I'm going to come in here and delete the previous effects from the footage. And then this is going to make it easy for us to make quick changes to both. Now we can see that both of them have the same. And if I come in here like I did before and change the midtones over to something orange, you'll see that it is going to apply it to both layers of footage. And if we want to take that a step further and swap any either of these footages out, similar to what I covered in the edit video, video, if we click on a single footage layer and then we come up here to the source dropdown, I can actually swap this out for a different video source. And then it's just going to seamlessly update that and all of our effects and everything are going to stay applied. So this is a really good way to make those last minute changes that your client might have. They want to switch out the footage. They want to do something really quick. It allows you to work with the quickness and get all these edits made. All right. That's how you add effects to videos in Fable. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.